Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. I'm Mo from Nail by Emery Denim. If you haven't already, please make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and hit that notification bell if you wanna be notified when I drop new content. So today I'm going to be talking to you guys about how to build clientele from the bottom up. So one of my nail bays left a comment um, pretty much just saying that she's a beginner nail tech and she really wants to start getting clientele, but she doesn't have any family or friends that will support her. So I'm like, man, this sounds so familiar because I, I literally started my business out the mud. So you literally asked the perfect question to the right person. So I really hope that I can help you. Um, I wrote down some things uh, that I, that I uh, know helped me. And the number one thing, we're going to get right to it. So the number one thing that you can do if you're trying to build clientele and you don't have anybody to really, you know, build it with is start with yourself. You can always be your own model. You know what I mean? Whatever it is, whatever service it is that you provide, you can always perfect it on your own nails. Like when I was in nail school, that was when I was starting from the bottom, literally nail school, because I didn't have clients in school and I barely had clients at home. And I didn't really have anybody around me that was willing to do what I needed them to do so that I could build this clientele. So I started doing my own nails. And um, it wasn't the easiest thing. So I'm not going to say it is easy, but it is something that you can do and take pictures of it. That's what I did. Um, I started with myself first. So like I said, that is always a valuable resource. You. Number two, the second thing that I would say you could do is find one person to make a deal with or two. Make sure that they follow the rules and, you know, y'all can get this deal done. So the deal that I would say do is the same kind of deal that I did. I didn't have a whole lot of people that I could rely on when it came to me starting my nail business. But I knew one person that I could rely on. One. Um, she was my cousin. So if you have one person in your life that you know for a fact is, you know, she's... I would, I would prefer an it girl, you know, the girl that, you know, always keep herself cute. You know, she takes pictures very well. Um, you know, she's going to be here for the nails. You know what I'm saying? You can find a good price, a real good price that you want to set for her, not for everybody, just her. And, you know, the deal could be, you know, if I do these nails for you, I'll I do whatever length, whatever shape, whatever art. You just want to be able to have somebody to, you know, use to get the stuff out there. But you want to, you know, let it be known that, that, you, that you're using them. <laughs> you're using them, but it's going to be for a good cause. So, you know, you could always go that route and just perfect everything during that time with that one person. When it was my cousin, I perfected shaping. Girl, I perfected that. I perfected shaping with her. I perfected my nail art and just my customer skills. You know what I'm saying? My people skills and learning how to reschedule my clients. I did all of that with her. And I think I might have found like one or two other people. But you have to be careful when you are when you when you're picking a person, you know what I'm saying, to try to make a model. Be careful with that because a lot of times people will use you. I know I've had a situation where I did that for somebody and they used me. So you have to let let it be known off the rip, you know, what it is that the deal is. But also let it be known that once you get to where you need to be, you know what I'm saying, that that price is going to change. Like, you know, don't, don't, don't get into a deal with somebody to help your clientele bill and then they don't want to pay you what you need to be paid later. So understand that off the rip but that is a definite good resource that you can use is finding that one person it don't matter who it is cousin friend somebody you just know you need to find you somebody it's just no way around it you're gonna have to find some sort of model or something to do your work on so um if it's not that then my number three would be to um let me see what i put down 
Um, oh, get a practice hand. So if you don't have, if you, if you, if, if option number one, you know what I'm saying, you do using yourself, and option number two of you finding someone that you can do this on. Number three will always be a model hand. I remember when I used to be in my apartment. Um, I had my whole apartment smelling like monomer because, honey, what I was going to do was some nails. And I didn't care if I had somebody to do it on or not. I was going to use my little fake hand. I forgot what I called my fake hand. I named her and everything because, girl, she was that girl. She had all the sets. And when you get those, I think they got a real good one called Red Iguana. And if you don't know of a practice hand, I'll link one in my description box, um, the one that I use. But, girl, use a practice hand. Because at the end of the day, that practice hand will allow you to learn how to uh, encapsulate, get your shaping together. I mean, that practice hand will let you do everything. Like anything that you want to learn how to do, that practice hand is going to give you the opportunity to do. So if all else fails, use that and build your portfolio. Build your portfolio on all of those things, on option one, two, and three. Build your portfolio. So everything that you do um, with either one of those options, make sure you are taking pictures. You know what I'm saying? Take pictures of everything and make sure you are invested in quality. So that would be my number four. Number four would be investing in quality. Meaning, make sure you are getting like quality products, quality everything, and actually take the time to learn your craft, like whether it's artwork or you do your artwork with acrylic or whatever it is, perfect that. And like I said, you I just gave you three different options that you could do, you know what I'm saying, to perfect that without having to wonder or worry where those clients are going to come from. Because once you start taking good pictures, make sure you get a good camera. Make sure you got good lighting. These are the mistakes that I made. I remember I remember I used to talk to this lady that was mentoring me um, with nails. And I had sent her my work. Like, why is it that I'm not getting any clients? And she looked at my work and the first thing she said, Was your lighting is trash? <laughs> she said my lighting was trash, y'all. My lighting was trash. And it was. When I... When I really sat back and looked, I was like, dang, this, I mean, the work was brilliant, but I wasn't gaining the clients because people could barely see it. So I upgraded. I upgraded my phone at the time. I ain't had the money and stuff at the time to be trying to get no camera. So I upgraded, got me a new phone, got me a new ring light, made sure I had some quality. It's literally, as soon as I did that, y'all, I kid you not, my clientele just shot up. It was like, I went from no clients to... I got them. So <clears throat> that's the main thing, honey. That's number four. And number five would be um, building great relationships. So as you're doing what you're doing and rebooking, you know, with, with, with the little clientele that you're trying to gain, remember that during those time frames, if you do have somebody coming to sit in your chair, remember to build great relationships because people tend to come back to where they're comfortable at. You don't even have to be that great. You don't even have to be that great of a nail tech. You could just be a really decent nail tech or, you know, because there's levels to this. But people will come back to you because they like you and they like your energy. They like your vibe and they won't mind you doing their nails because to some people it's personal for them. So you really want to make sure you, um, you know, you build your uh, people skills. So I hope you can take a lot from this. You know what I'm saying? Just to, you know, go over everything. Remember, number one, start with yourself. Start with self because you cannot go wrong. You're going to make sure your nails are right. If you're good with that, that's a good option for you is doing your own nails, taking great pictures and building a portfolio of your own nails. That's all it takes. If the quality is good, people are going to book. Um, you know, you just have to make sure you establish yourself for social media. So I don't know if you have that or not, but if you do, that is what you need to do. And option number two is remember finding that one someone, even if it's, uh, like I said, don't matter who it is, cousin, friend, somebody, you know, you just need to have a mutual agreement with them and, um, you know, build your portfolio off that and make sure you tell them to share your work. If they do not share your work or follow through with the rules or whatever it is, the deal that y'all have, next, 
But one thing is for, is for sure, you definitely need that model. So that's what I did. And my clientele went through the roof. I literally remember doing nails um, and didn't have no clients, no clients. That one deal with my one cousin literally brought me half of the clients that I have right now. And the crazy thing is, it was a, it was on a deal at that time, but she paid me full price now. She don't even have, she don't even mind. So make sure you do that with the right person, because I've been burnt with that too. So you really want to make sure you're doing that with the right person. But that's a great option. Um, number three, remember I said get a practice hand. A uh, good practice hand is the red iguana practice hand. But like I said, if you don't want to get that one, because it is a little pricey. I'll send you, I'll put the um, link to the practice hand that I use in my description box. But that's a great, great option. You can literally build a whole portfolio using that practice hand. Um, remember, um, we talked about quality, making sure your quality is on point because people won't want to book with you if the pictures that you do post or, you know, whatever, wherever your portfolio is where people can come and see your work, um, being that you don't have a clientele yeah, you want to make sure that every single picture that they see is quality and i'm gonna overlay some quality work over here that's and i'm not just being boastful i'm just saying i'm not when i when i show you this video um i'm more so leaning towards quality versus the nails you know what i'm saying so this video right here is a video of some nails that i did but the quality of the picture is on point. I updated my phone. This is the new iPhone 14 Pro Max. And the quality is top tier. So serious. So, you know, definitely invest in quality. Definitely invest in lighting. And the last the last tip that I would give is to build great relationships with the people that you do do nails with. And always remember to read book. So it don't matter who sit in your chair, who just miraculously come and be like, you know what, what we doing today? Whatever you do on them nails, you need to make sure that you read book. Cause before you know it, your books is, will be filled. So it's a lot more things I could talk about on that subject. Cause um, being a beginner nail tech is a whole thing. And it is not easy. But it is very, very doable. So I hope that I was I hope that this video was helpful to you. Um let me know in the comments so I can, you know, if you feel like I need to touch bases on it a little more or a little in depth, or if it was something that I said that, you know, resonated with you, let me know in the comment section and I'll get this out to y'all. So I appreciate y'all watching those that are still watching. I appreciate you all taking the time to watch. Please make sure you like my videos and um until next time, thanks. Bye.